Hey guys, welcome back to episode 16 of Super Mario Galaxy 2. Today what we're going to do is continue on with World 5, and um, we got a couple more stars we have to get before uh, we complete World 5. World 5 actually, like I said, is not a very long world. Just a couple of things that have to be you know, taken care of, obviously, but the Luma here is something that we have to consider because there's so many, so many star bits to actually get in every single stage, so got to make sure we gotta do that sometime. We gotta accumulate star bits so that way we can get that. And then, uh, today hopefully we'll finish up this, uh, Shipper Burn Galaxy. It's actually not really that difficult. If I would stop falling into the lava... Yeah, just great. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much what you have to do. Start with this, and then uh, probably we'll move on to the blue galaxy. That was actually not that easy. Stop falling into the lava and dying. Son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know what happened right there. I just, I don't know, I'm not playing very well today already. This is starting out very well. But yeah, that's pretty much what we're gonna do. Shiver Burn Galaxy and then Blue Burn uh, Galaxy. It's actually not, that one's not that difficult, but there's a couple things that are kind of uh, irritating. That's particularly with all the stars. Stop falling into lava, and how did I not get hit by the lava right there? I don't know. I don't know how I did it, but I somehow escaped it. I took it all this stuff. Go away, you stupid electrical field. Thank you, whatever you are. Okay. So pretty much we're gonna do exactly what we did last time. Stop running into the lava. Oh, jeez. Nice. Okay, this is pretty much exactly the same as what happened last episode when we got the uh, bonus star. This star is not. This star actually is not that difficult. It's just gonna fall in the path. That's one of the things though that I really didn't like so much about this game. You know? But all the paths are very linear. There's not really that much with the exception of you know those secret secret stars. Those are really the only ones that have to you have to actually search for. And even when you search for it, even when you search for it, it's kind of like well we already kind of know where it is. It's gonna be the star before we actually even go look for it. So. That's one of the things I didn't like so much about Super Mario Galaxy in general. Not just this game, but the first game, too, that every star seemed really linear. There wasn't really any, like, I was saying, like, a zillion times. But there's so many ways to act. Well, when I think of Super Mario 64, that's really the game that I really enjoy the most. Out of all the N64 games, out of the GameCube games, and uh, the Wii games, all of those games do not compare with Super Mario. Uh, and once again, I fall into the lava and die. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. Today is not going my way. But the one of the reasons why I really like Super Mario 64, uh, Super Mario 64 is because that game had a non-linear quality to it. As long as you knew which stars, well, I mean, where the locations of each star was, you can go to any of the stars in any order you wanted. That's what really made this interesting. Versus this game, Super Mario Galaxy, you have to get the first star first, and you have then you can then you are able to get the second star. You know, it's not like. You know, you can do the second one first, and then the first one. Unless, the only the only thing is, um, that's not taken into consideration is, obviously, the secret stars. There's not that many, there's not that many secret stars in this entire game, so... There's not really that many ch chances that I can have that happen. Hopefully I can stop that, that would be great, you know? I don't even know what I do with this. 
get that. Yeah, that's pretty much the that's the one thing that I never really liked about the Super Mario Galaxy 2 is that linear quality. We already know what order everything's gonna come in. We already know we have to do it in that order. It's not like it's not like uh Super Mario 64. It's really the big thing though for me. One of the reasons why I don't this game for the most part is good. The graphics Graphics like usual are really good. Gameplay is really well. There's only a couple moments but I really felt like I really don't like it. Particularly that spring mushroom. It's still kind of a disaster to be honest with you. There's just too many times where too many times where I just fall in the lava and die. <laughs> Come on. What the heck is going on? I don't know why I've died three times so far in this episode. I usually don't. Three times I don't even die at all. What was I gonna say? If I can stop, you know, getting interrupted while I'm talking by my own self, then, then I would actually get something done. But what was, what was I gonna say about this? I don't remember. I don't remember what I was going to say because I feel like there was nothing too much about stop skating around. I do not want that. I don't know. There's just a lot of... Okay. Actually, yeah, the... Oh, I was talking about the controls. Yeah, there's only a couple moments where the controls are really horrible. For instance, the string mushroom, and I almost died right there. I don't know why I did that. It's just a stupid idea. I hate the fact that you cannot ice skate. I, I don't like the fact that you can't stop ice skating. Stop it! And so I have to force it. Every time I twirl, I turn into the, you know, the ice skating mode. Stupid, annoying, and scary. Thank you. Okay, so we got a little of all that, now we can move on. This time, please, let's stop falling into the lava. That would be really, really great. And I think everyone else here probably would want me not to fall into the lava for stupid reasons, like what I've been doing so far today. I don't know, I don't know what is going on, but I'm just not up to it today. But yeah, that's pretty much what's going on in this game. Um, we're on World 5 now, so there's not that many worlds left. There's 6 in uh, the special World 7, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And then once we finish all that, then we'll have the green stars. Uh, I mean, we'll have the common stars, and then the green stars, and then that's pretty much it. So, you know, the game is coming down, winding down, main game time. I all the special stars that I'm going to be taking some time. And I have to say, the special stars most of the time are not that difficult. So it's just all a matter of you know, doing it and actually making it. I mean, getting it. That's all, that's all that I really care. It's really fun to play. It's really fun to play. Oh. And of course, they got hit by the fireball. The fireball. Well, why wouldn't you? Because I just threw a melon at you. Okay. Uh, stop running into the lava. That is not funny. So yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. Really slow at all. Just the last couple of times. Well, that's the last thing I forgot to mention. Completely and utterly. Alright, you're responsive. I'm responsive. You know. Yeah, you're responsive. I'm responsive. Um, it's just really not really doing what I really wanted to do. Alright, there we go. He's dead. 
Somehow, three melons to the head signifies exploding the whole entire cart. I don't really understand that. <laughs> then again, nothing in this game really makes any sense. But... Okay, well there's our first star, and it only took so many minutes to actually do that. Okay, so... Oh yeah, the computer... It's just like being a big... Whiny baby. <laughs> it's just... Sometimes it wants to work, sometimes it does exactly what I want it to do, and sometimes it just does not want to turn on. I'm not sure what's going on with this computer. It's the same computer that had the, the graphics card problem. I don't know what is going on or why it's deciding to do be like that, but you know what? It's not funny and I, I want it to stop right now. Okay, so now that we're done with Shipper Burn uh, Galaxy, we will move on to Deep Moon, like I said. And this stage actually is not really that difficult for the most part, except there's only one star that, you know, for some reason, I don't know why, but I just never seem to find it until, I don't know, until after the pack. It's not one of those stars that are really that easy to find. It's, I mean, there's not very much sign. There's not much stuff to signal that it's there, except for maybe a sound effect or two. Okay, so I believe is it this way. No, never mind. It is not this way. We go the other way. But once we go this way, once you figure out which direction to go, this you don't have to. I mean, it's always the same thing every time. There's special bonus things in there, like the bonus game where you attack all the enemies and all that stuff. There's that in there, but I don't really go after it, because I don't really do the mobs. Yeah. This part is be, be really careful here, don't fall. And here's the thing that I was talking about, that sound effect. You can hear the sound effect for the star right there when I was playing. Before I died, I'll be right back. Okay, say it again when the sound effect comes up. But as you can see, you can hear something, the sound effect, coming around right now. But you just don't know where it is. And this is one of the, the hard stars to actually find. Because there's not really an indication that something, you know, you have to go a specific way to actually get it. You actually, it's actually above you. But we can't look up, we can't find, I mean, that's the one, that's another thing too. You would think, after all this time in the game, you would be able to look up there. You know, because Mar has been able to do that before. You know, it's just for some reason this stage, you know, can't do that. I don't know why. But if you did that, you probably could tell that there is a star up on the, you know, on the ceiling, and all you have to do is get through that. And that's really one of the things that I, that's one of the things I just never really liked about this stage. It has that quality to it. And, you know, there's nothing to really signify that it's there, except for maybe right there. I mean, if you miss it, it's you only get about 10 seconds, maybe not even 10 seconds, you get like 5 seconds to figure out what's going on. And then you gotta figure out as well, so that's pretty much why it's annoying. But yeah, anyways, you know, just try your best to find everything. Okay, so now we're here. This is the pop-up area. This is actually where we're gonna get our silver stars. There's only five. Like always. Watch out for the boobs. They don't be so stupid. This episode I've been really stupid. You know, I've been doing some really stupid things. I don't know why I would ever do things the way that I'm doing right now, and specifically right now, seeing that boo was really dumb. I think I'm being too hard on myself, but still. No. No. No! And once again we have... Oh. No, no. Oh, no, 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 no! Come on! Be right back. <laughs> I really hate this. I really hate this when I have to redo things over and over and over. I shouldn't have, I forgot that the pop up, once you pop it up and down and up and down, then you don't have to press that switch ever again. So that's the one thing I forgot. That's why those stupid moves hit me. 
should not have let them do, do that. Okay, so there's three. We still have two more. Go. There's four. Oh, so close. You almost had it. Stop it. Why are the boots moving so freaking fast? I don't know why, but it just seems like they are. There we go. Alright, so there's our five silver stars. Now we are going to receive our gold star. And it's right there. Alright, so now with that gold star in the way, now we can take out some more things. And grab that final gold star. If I can just hit it. If I can just grab it, that would be really great. Right, so there we go. We got a star. And uh, that took way too much long time. <laughs> it should have. So yeah, I'm just gonna just try my to finish this up now. I think we'll move on to Huh. Superbird Galaxy has this comment. Okay. Well that's good. Anyways, we have one more we have one more star for the stage, then we'll wait till the next time. And we have Space Storms Galaxy, where we have to do some jobs again. Oh, great. Why can't you do the jobs yourself? Honestly, I don't want to. I don't want to do any of this. I'll do it next time, though. So we're going to finish up Boot Moon today. There's one more star. Actually, there's two more stars in this stage. One is, you know, like I said, above and on the ceiling that we can't see. The other one is in this uh, second star. We'll get the special star though next time. Uh, haunting the Howling Tower. Why is it howling though? Because there's nothing really howling about it. That's funny though. <laughs> that boo has a face. No, that mushroom has a face. Yes. And it looks like a boo. Ridiculous. <laughs> that's all I can say. But yeah, um, that's pretty much what's going on with me today. Except for my computer. My computer would start um, really being responsible and actually doing what I really wanted to do. And I could probably get videos done much more quickly. I don't know why it's being such a pain in the butt. You know? Everything about it, ever since September when it started you know, having its problems, I've always been acting like that lately. You know? It's very annoying. I don't feel like I can get more stuff done because I have this stupid computer. Why do you have to keep doing that? What was I gonna say? That, you know, it's just that. You know, that computer is just driving me insane. I don't want to deal with it anymore. Yet I don't want to buy another computer. That's such a freaking waste of money. To buy a computer just to do this. You know, it's so expensive to buy a computer, and I can't. I don't. I don't know if I can use a laptop for this or. Anything. That would, it would be great to have a laptop, but I don't know. I just don't have the money to do it. I don't know. Computer is just... Computers are just too expensive. That's all. That's why I can't afford one. That's why I can't, you know... I couldn't fix it faster. Probably in, uh, I'm not that. Um, and I'm totally lost. Today is not going well. I can already tell that it's not going well. I'm missing something. Um, maybe I was supposed to go this way. I think I was supposed to go this way. Darn it. So yeah, this uh, this area is a lot more complicated than the other time around. Oh, there we go. So yeah, once we get oh yes, okay, finally. Okay, so now we're in the haunted tower, even though we're not really in a tower. Okay, so now we're in Boo Mario. The controls here are okay, but I have to say the bouncing, you know, against the walls really is a shame. Like, like that. I really hate that. Especially because, you know, some of the enemies are getting are really close quarters and you really don't have very much room. And if you bump into a wall, you can easily ricochet off and get one of these enemies. I don't really like that. I really wish they didn't have too much you know, reflection. I mean, too much of a reflection. You know, when you hit it, you know, all of a sudden it just reflects and goes up, you know, and hits something else, you know? 
Does it have a good price to be a little too much? Really. Other than that, though, this this item is usually pretty good. They had this item in the first game, too. Similar icon, same exact thing, but I don't know. I'm not a big fan of this. So look at this. You, it's very close quarters, and if you keep hitting the wall, you just keep bouncing. You keep bouncing closer and closer to that. Bad for redo everything over again. Yeah. I'm not sure why why this has to be done. Okay, so I think we're almost there now. We're getting closer to the deal. Like, we're going to here, but stop bouncing against the ball. Okay, yeah, that's another instance of bouncing. And there we go, bouncing again. Here's the close quarters. It's starting to get a little bit tighter when it comes to getting the place and all that stuff. So, you can hear the star, it's above me, but this is this is where I kind of have problems sometimes. You can see oh, oh, crashed right into that ghost. Okay. Anyways, let's try to let's really try to get this done. See, I'm climbing, but it's not climbing. That's just great. I only have one. I don't have any minute hit anymore. So I have to get this right. And sometimes I always have a problem with this. Go, 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 go. Can't believe I didn't get hit right there. It really made no sense. And there, and there. And of course, of course, you know, at the very end I get hit. Huh. Okay, back here. I'm gonna really show all case all of that again. It's a little too much. Go, 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 go. Okay, good. See? Again, now I should have gotten it right there, but technically I didn't for some reason. I don't know. Strange game. Okay, so anyways, that's it. It was Thursday. It's the third star for today. Boo Moon Galaxy is pretty much done. Tomorrow we'll do, you know, the space, the space, you know, space odd job we have to do. Then we'll finish this for love with the super star, and then we'll probably do one more thing out. I think the uh, the Sand Galaxy. That one's gonna be a tough one. I hate, I hate that stage. There's a couple of places where I just really just don't want to do it. That's why it's a little bit annoying to me. But there are always gonna be challenging stages. So that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. See you guys later. Take care. Bye.